The Court of Appeal has ruled today that the law requiring people to disclose all previous convictions when applying for certain jobs is a breach of their human rights. The case centred on a man who was warned about stealing bikes when he was 11 years old and who as an adult has had to reveal the cautions to his employers. The government says it's disappointed and is hoping to appeal against the judgment. Our legal affairs correspondent Clive Coleman reports. Millions of criminal record checks are carried out each year to protect children and vulnerable groups. But should a petty crime committed in your youth remain on your record forever? Music teacher Dan Greenwood was cautioned for stealing a record from Woolworths when he was 15. Every time the XIAB comes through, it's, I've got to go and see the head teacher and account for this kind of offence which as far as I'm concerned is ancient history buried in a time when you know I was uh, you know an unruly teenager. At the Court of Appeal today judges ruled in the case of a man given two cautions for stealing two bikes when he was 11. Years later his record was still causing him problems when applying for work. His lawyer thinks today marks a welcome change. What they found is that the current provisions do breach the right to privacy and family life because it is a, a wholehearted approach that everything's got to be disclosed. What they've said is that there needs to be some proportionality involved and some consideration of what is relevant and what isn't. As a result of today's judgment, nothing will change immediately. The government has 28 days to seek permission to appeal to the Supreme Court. But if it fails in that, the judges here have made it absolutely clear the government must legislate to change the current system of blanket disclosure. But some are cautious about a change which might mean minor crimes are not disclosed. Children have rights too, and so employers, when making a decision about who they should employ into a job that gives access to children, should have access to all of the relevant information so that they can make the right decisions about who to employ. This is a delicate balance between civil liberties and protecting the vulnerable. If the government loses its appeal, a system will have to be found which filters out minor law-breaking from criminal records for people like Dan Greenwood, whilst ensuring the safety of those we need to protect the most. Clive Coleman, BBC News. Coming up on tonight's programme...